we got back here? Let's see. Oh, chicken dude. What's that? My name is Burp and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's your boy Burp. And we are at the thrift store. The thrift store! I'm gonna shut this. It's super windy outside. It's really cold and the fire truck is heading down the road so it's kind of loud out there so i'll just stay in here and talk for a minute but uh, we're gonna head in here we're gonna keep our fingers crossed we're gonna pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today and we can pull some vintage toys out of here so we're gonna hit up this place we're gonna hit up a goodie wheel and we're gonna hit up plaza thrift and i gotta get back in time so we got 45 minutes to do this i gotta get back in time to get coffee for the girls so we can watch the uh the NFL playoff games today, which start at two o'clock in like 45 minutes. So let's do this, we're wasting time. All right, we got Coca-Cola Barbie in here. That's about it, let's go check the shelves. Right, what do I got here? I got some sort of Star Wars action figure. I haven't seen that type before. And who's that? Kind of almost looks like Captain Kirk. Eh, just those two action figures, it looks like. Hey, we got a big old slingshot here. And a backyard blitz playground ball. Lots of bags today. What's this? Bright bugs. Magically flies from hand to hand. Oh, it's like a magic trick or something like that. It's interesting. 2016. All right, let's see, what else do we got? Oh, we got a dino in this bag and some dolls. Yeah, we got some army men in this bag, a big old bag of army men. Here's a Captain America, very similar to that Star Wars character we just saw. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow, that's kind of cool. That's like a wand or something with a dragon on the top of it. That is pretty awesome. Just looking to see if it turns on anywhere. Uh, I don't see. Oh, there it goes. It's kind of. I saw it flash in there for a second. There we go. <laughs> Look who's still here. Have they lowered them? They took them from $14.99 to $6.99 and still nobody's buying them because he needs to be like $2.99. Hey, look at this big Pokemon plush. He's got like a Santa hat on or an elf hat or something like that. Just being festive. Look, man. This dude here from, uh, it's Ben 10. He's been here for, gosh... I don't even know how long, a month now. Oh, they rubbed the rub the price off them. I think they were asking like 10 bucks for them. I'll oh, check out this little Jeep. It's kind of like, it feels like it might be like die cast. It's real heavy. Seven bucks for that? Oh, no way, man. It's like a, like a buck 99. Oh, we got this little astronaut looking dude. He's missing his arms. Oh, we got a Captain America with his shield. You never see him with the shield, like ever. It's actually not a bad find. And then look at this ugly dude. The face sculpt on him is so bad. Oh, then we got Obi-Wan over here. Let's reunite them. Hey, look, best friends. And what is this? This is a war machine, right? Oh, look at this higher education <laughs> that's funny get it because it's like a monster truck it's all like jacked up higher education here's another monster truck lots of monster trucks today cool oh, here's a lightsaber vader saber all right busted off to the Goody Wheel. All right, kids, we're at the Goody Wheel, baby. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys or maybe some cool VHS tapes. I've been cool and pulling some 
good titles out of here lately. So let's check it out. All right, we're approaching ground zero. Let's see what we got here on the shelves. This spring up cash game. Oh, it's a bunch of little bunny rabbits. Oh, it's from 2011. It's cute. And we got this Wayne Manor play set. And what's this? Oh, it's some sort of laser tag. And I don't know what this is. Maybe something Fisher Price. That's oh, a fire station. And do we see anything in Plushville? There's a big old football. Other than that, I'm not seeing anything. Hey, look, it's the Squinkies Clubhouse. Caroline used to have a bunch of Squinkies when she was little. Well, I'm not really seeing much in the DVD section. Here's an old Little Rascals, though. I've got a bunch of those, so I don't need that. Robin Williams, Jack. Time Bandits. Uh, looks interesting. Looks like it's fantasy or something like that. All right, we're just kind of reading the back of it here. And I'm going to grab this. This, this is an old jungle book. That's not the Disney version, 1942. All right, I figured we'd just do our show and tell here in the Goody Wheel. I'm gonna get this uh, spring up and catch game. I looked on eBay and this thing sells for like 30 bucks, like pretty crazy. I'm gonna keep it though, because I like stuff like this. I think it's fun. And then we're also gonna get the Time Bandits VHS. All right, gang, we got the haul. We got one more stop to make. I'm not gonna make it back in time for two o'clock. I'll probably get home at 2.15, but uh, we got to hurry. So let's head on over to Plaza Thrift, AKA Craptastic Psalms, sister location, and see if we can finish strong over there. All right, gang, here we are, our last and final destination. So we're gonna head in here. We're gonna check the glass case. We're gonna check the shells, rummage through some bags, and hopefully pull out a vintage score. All right. It doesn't look like anything new in these cases at all. All right, well, here's our incomplete shell razor. Still hasn't sold. And speaking of shells, we got a turtle shell right here. I used to see these all the time at thrift stores, so I haven't seen one in a long time, though. All right, well, there's like nothing on these shelves. It's all junk, so let's check the bags. And here's some dinos, a couple of dinos in there. Oh, that's a cool looking Shrek. Kind of like that. And there's like a little little people dwarf in there. Some princesses or some sleepy. All right, that must be bashful, huh? Here's like a plastic pellet gun or something. That was probably Sting, huh? Oh, this is the uh, McDonald's Peter Pan pirate ship. Is it all there? It's got Mr. Smeed, it's got Peter Pan, Captain Hook, but it's missing the front end of the ship. All right, I'm just kind of going through all these bags, hoping maybe I can find the other piece of that pirate ship, but check this out. It actually makes noise. That's pretty cool. Here's a bag of dinos and a kangaroo. Big old lizard. Well, guys, I've searched up and down on all these bags and I can't find the other piece to it, but I'm still going to get it because when this thing is completed with the front end and then like the uh, the crow's nest, it sells for like 50 bucks and I'm missing Wendy and I think maybe one other figure, but I'm going to grab it for $2.92. What do we got here? Looks like we got a couple of bat cycles and a crocodile. All right, what do we got back here? Let's see. Oh, chicken dude. Oh, what's that? That's an odd looking action figure. I'm gonna look for that bag, 292. All right, well, let's grab this bag too. He's kind of odd looking, and it's always been my gut instinct when you find something you haven't seen before, you should get it, because it's usually worth a little something, something. All right, what do we got here? Uh, some sort of griffin, huh? And uh, I think he's from Toy Story, right? And a giant, like, 
Minecraft figure. There's no price on the bag though. It looks like someone might have ripped it off. Well, here's something Ghostbusters. I don't know what that is though. Looks like maybe a mini proton gun or something like that. They want $2.92 for that bag too. Well, it's kind of a neat looking Spider-Man. I guess maybe he lights up, huh? Can we turn him on? Oh yeah, he does, he lights up. It's kind of cool. Let me check out this little granny. She must go to some sort of game or something. All right, y'all, I got my haul. So let's jump in the car. It's not that far, it's time for show and tell. It's time for show and tell. All right, let's do a little show and tell. All right, first up, we got the Captain Hook pirate ship from mcdonald's this was like early 2000s i believe i actually owned this at one point in time and i think i might have sold it in a yard sale a long time ago but uh, it's missing some pieces it's missing the front end it's missing the crow's nest um and maybe a couple of figures but check this out when we i'm, I'm sure smeet is going to fall over when i do this but we can let's see well, why isn't that working? <laughs> All right, Smeed, get out of there. Let's see. How does this... Oh, I got to push down on it. That's right. I got to do it like this. Aha! There we go. You got to push down, not push in. So, yeah, you know, this thing complete sells for about 50 bucks, which I was like, holy crap, I should have kept mine. So I may just piece it out and try to sell them as individual pieces, or I might just try and buy this piece in the crow's nest and the extra figures and just keep it in my collection. I don't know, but I think it's pretty cool. And then there was like this Burger King toy. It's from 2002. I don't even know what it's from, but uh, it kind of looks like he's like in a Union uniform from the Civil War. So maybe it had something to do with civil war movie or something like that dream it says dreamworks on the back of it yeah i don't know um but anyway he was in the bag as well and then i also got this figure it's from 2020 it's made by a company called jazzwares and i'm thinking maybe it has something to do with halo it's gonna need a little cleaning up he's kind of crusty in some areas <laughs> he's got somebody's some hair some cat hair attached to them and stuff like that. It's gross. But uh, yeah, and here I am just playing with it, you know, <laughs> putting my hand, my grubby, putting my hands all over his grubby body. Not my grubby hands, but his grubby body. So, but yeah, I'm assuming maybe something Halo. So maybe you guys can help me out and uh, identify this guy for me. Oh yeah, it was probably from somebody's house with a cat. Cause look what else is in this bag. Like, kitty balls and shit like that nasty now we got this all-seeing eye that was in the bag as well <laughs> there we go Ooh, illuminati and the rest of the bag was just junk and except for these like minecraft blocks i'll hold on to those but hey if you're enjoying watching this content as much as i'm enjoying making it for you do me a favor smash the like button that helps me out it helps my channel grow also if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button because i got a lot more great content coming your way Probably a little better than this video. We didn't find a whole lot in this video, but I got more stuff coming and every day is a new day and you just don't know what you're gonna find in these stores and we could pull out some epic vintage scores. So check out this next video, start binge watching my content. I know you're gonna love it.